Hello, my name is Andrew Edgar, and this is how I built my 433 MHz signal jammer for my honors project at Robert Gordon University. So, signal jammer contains three main components. First component, the microcontroller, is an Arduino Uno Revision 3. Uh, the second component is the transmitter, so this is a 433 MHz transmitter with an antenna soldered onto the antenna point here. And the third component is simply a 9 volt battery which has been attached to a, a power cable for the Arduino. Uh, that was to make sure that the make sure that the signal jammer could be taken anywhere portably. So the connection points on the signal jammer are as follows. So the transmitter is getting 5 volts from this blue wire from the uh, from the Arduino. It's also getting ground uh, from this green one here. So here we are the ground voltage and on pin 11 is where the data is getting transferred to this transmitter. So I'm using a package a library uh, called Radiohead and this is allowing me to uh, talk to the transmitter with some code. Uh, it allows me to change the string data into radio frequencies. So essentially we create a driver object from this uh, from this library radio head. Uh, we, first of all we create a message, hello world, it can be any data, and we're sending that to uh, the we're sending that to the transmitter here. The driver waits for the package to be sent and it loops at a zero second delay. So this is constantly happening. So this was going to constantly keep emitting radio frequencies until the Arduino has lost power. So to demonstrate the signal jammer, we're going to use a frequency analyzer, SDR Sharp, uh, to visualize frequencies. So I'll go ahead and plug this in. And a large spike has appeared here. So essentially what would happen is a car key fob would have a smaller peak of radio frequencies radio frequencies so and uh, this peak is a lot stronger than it so the the car keys frequency would not be able to transmit correctly to the car thus blocking the signal from the key to the car so unplug this and the peak is gone now and the car is able to communicate freely with the uh, and vice versa.